Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a July TBR. I'm ready to share with you guys what I want to read for July. Some of these books I'm uh, transferring from June to July just because I didn't get to it or maybe I'm holding back because for some reason in June I just managed to read everything off my TBR and not anything that was on my TBR except for maybe five books. <laughs> so these books are I'm really excited for. There's one series and everything else basically just ranges from different genres and different types of literature. We've got classics, we've got uh, hmm, historical fiction, we have contemporary, and we have some fantasy. So I'm going to start first with my classics just because I wanted to talk about it first for some reason. So I'm just going to dive right in. The first classic that I'm going to read is just something that I want to dive in and get ahead because I uh, heard that you read this in college English classes. So I was like, you know what? Now's the time to read it. It's a perfect time actually. And it is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I've never read David Copperfield because it's difficult. I mean, let's open to a random page and how s just see how thin these small and how thin these words are. And it's 800 words. It's not 800 words, that's just one page. But th this is 800 pages, there you go. That was tough for some reason. But this is 800 pages, I wanna dive in. There are some things that I know will surely be talked about in the future, or if I don't end up reading this in the future, then it's a good thing I started now. Better late than never, you know? So, David Copperfield, guys. The next three books, yes, are going to be Jane Austen books. I'm fairly excited for all of these books just because I found that I don't remember a single thing about any Jane Austen book I've ever read in the past and now is always and I'm just gonna say it now is just a fabulous time to dive into Jane Austen. It is Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and then Persuasion. I have a love-hate relationship on Pride and Prejudice. Not just it's mainly because I read this I read all three so long ago, so long ago with my tiny baby brain and now is the time for my big girl brains to read them finally. So I also have a love-hate relationship on Mr. Darcy. I didn't understand him in the movies and in the books or at least baby brain me didn't understand. I still don't understand Mr. Darcy movie wise, but I'm hoping I can finally understand and see all the hype behind him. and. You know, obviously just read this in general, not just because of Mr. Darcy and why he's so loved. It's time to pick it back up again and to see if I really do love Mr. Darcy like everybody else. The next two books, Sense and Sensibility and Pres Persuasion, I don't remember anything, but the fact that they have specific literature moments and important moments that are talked about that are very important to being just English in general, like English classes, you know, so that's why I want to read this. Mainly these classics are for me to get ahead into the reading and diving in and experiencing all these books once again. Jane Austen, I'm ready for her, I, I think, but uh, Jane Austen, the next few books I want to talk about is my series that I want to read. And this is actually transferring from my June TBR to this month, July's TBR, and I'm pretty excited to read this. I don't I don't know why I didn't read this in June. I think it was just because I had a little bit of a slump the first week or two of June, and I finally was like, you know what? It's time. It's time. I just I just gotta read it. So it is the Nightingale, the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden, and the first book is The Bear and the Nightingale. Book two is The Girl in the Tower. The third book is The Winter of the Witch. I've heard mixed reviews about this series. Um, I've heard it was good, I've heard it was bad, and I want to seed it. I want to seed? No, I want to see if I'm on the good or the bad side 
uh, or if I'm in the average side or center. I want to see if I'm if I'm on either side or in the center. So I just want to try. I want to actually dive into actually reading it this time because last. Oops. Oops. Okay. Uh, just I don't know. I just didn't read it and. I want to start, if I don't finish the books, I just want to start transferring it just so I can remember to read it. I'm actually genuinely pretty excited to read this and uh, I'm excited. I finally am ready to dive in this, so yes. The next book I specifically want to read this for uh, Independence Day, July 4th. I'm ready for it. It's in a few days. Yes. And the book I want to read is Red, White, and Royal Blue. Yeah. I'm finally, I'm so excited to pick this up. Uh, this deals with our first son, Alex Claremont Diaz, and our Prince of Wales, Henry, the Prince, Prince Henry, and they are rivals, so this is an enemies to lovers. Um, it deals with them just having an, a rivalry together, and they Obviously, this deals with, yet again, paparazzi. They enter in order to stop this rivalry. They have a fake friendship, but along the way, a few things happen. They fall in love, surely, and I'm so excited to read this. I've heard positive, positive reviews on it, and I'm actually really excited to read this, so I really want to... I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this, finally, and I'm... Just, I'm going to dive into this on July 4th. The next category I am talking about is historical fiction. I love historical fiction. I love historical fiction, apparently. I say that so many times in this channel. Uh, I'm going to read The Tattooist of Auschwitz and The Librarian of Auschwitz. This is by Heather Norris. This is by this guy here that I know I'm going to butcher. Let's just not say his name. So, I'm excited to read this. I am not educated enough about the Holocaust and I feel so bad for it because I feel like just for someone who loves his reading about history and knowing about history, I know too little about the Holocaust. And both of these are based on true stories and I just, I, I know too little about this topic and even though this is historical fiction, they're based on true stories and just I feel like anything about these types, the Holocaust stories, and just anything about war or battles or anything deserve to be read, and even fiction, in the fiction sense. So I want to dive into The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris and uh, The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio. Uh, Antonio I, because I know I'm going to say that last name wrong, so it's uh, Antonio I. The next book I want to talk about is... Uh, something that has been on my want to read on Goodreads for so long. So this has been on my TBR since like 2015. This came out in like 2005. So this book came out a while back. Yeah, 2005. And it is The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. I thought actually at first it was a poem just like a bunch of poems but it's not but that makes me even more excited to read this. So I'm, I'm so excited. It deals with a man named Leo who falls in love and writes a book about it. And 60 years later, a girl named Al Alma uh, is named after a character in this book. And she goes to the Polish village where Leo lived and wants to discover her namesake and to help her family save her family, basically. And, uh, you know what, along the way she falls in love, I think? Or she's re or she's learning about the retelling of Leo's love. I don't know, but I'm ready to dive into this book and just find out what this is about. I'm so excited to read this, uh, just because it's been a long time coming. I thought I would want to read this on ebook at first decided not to because I was like, you know what, this book deserved to be read on physical paper and I'm so excited to finally just dive into this book and I'm... Okay, I'm gonna put this book down now. 
But the next book is something I heard, Paperback Dreams. Um, I'm a huge fan of hers because her books are so funny and incredible. Uh, yeah, her link will be down in the description box below. The next book I'm going to talk about is A Little Life by Hanya on yeah, Whoa! Hanya Yanagihara. I'm really excited to read this. I've heard mixed reviews about it. I've heard it. I've also heard this is such a sad book, but you know what? I like sad books. I think I can't tell. I like different types of books, but I'm excited to read this uh, just because why not? It's time for me to cry. This is the book that will surely make me cry, please. <laughs> this is the last thing on my list and I'm so excited for all of these books, actually. Uh, they're in uh, just a jumble of books and problems, and I'm going to try and organize this. Thank you guys so much for watching my July TBR. Everything, all these books will be down in the description box below for you guys to just copy and paste, whether it's, uh, whether it's on Goodreads or elsewhere or maybe your wish list of your own. So just to, you know, give you guys a little help. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Comment down below if you guys want to read these books or if you've already read them because I want to hear what you guys think about these books and I want to hear about anything really if you guys want to uh, just try these books out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time for more book content. Thank you guys. Bye.